In this video, we're going to go over the basic tool and command interactions. Let's start with uh, activating a tool. Uh, the easiest way is to just uh, left click on the tool in a palette. This will uh, activate the tool. Um, you can also activate tools with a uh, keyboard shortcut. Pretty much all tools by default have a shortcut. Um, if you hover over top of a tool for after a few seconds, a tooltip will appear. Um, this will give you a general info about the uh, tool, uh, but also will show you a, the keyboard shortcut if it has an assigned one. Um, if you go over here, for example, if we look at the uh, selection tool, if we hover over it for a second, uh, you'll see that the, the keyboard shortcut is the X key. Uh, the rectangle tool is uh, the number four, and um, uh, polyline tool is five. Some shortcut keys will have uh, key modifiers, uh, for example, like uh, the shift key or the alt or option key on Mac. Um, an example of this is the, uh, the move by points tool. Uh, this tool, the shortcut is uh, holding shift and M at the same time to activate the tool. When I mentioned earlier that the rectangle and polyline tool shortcuts were the number four and number five, uh, these shortcuts are going to be in the number row. This is the, the, the row of uh, numbers above the letters on your keyboard, uh, not the number pad on the right side of some keyboards. Uh, those are used for navigation, which we'll, we'll cover in a later video. If you're looking for a complete list of, of, of hotkeys and shortcuts, um, you can find this in the Vectorworks Help uh, by just going to Help and then choosing Vectorworks Help. Or you can simply hover over Tool, as I said, to see the shortcut. As mentioned in a previous video, uh, most tools have modes. Uh, you can toggle between these modes uh, by simply cl left clicking on the, the tool mode button in the toolbar, or you can actually use uh, keyboard shortcuts to toggle through these as well. Uh, the keyboard shortcuts used for this are the uh, U, I, O, and P keys. Um, the uh, U key um, will toggle through the first set of modes. Um, if you've noticed, certain tools have multiple sets of modes separated by a uh, thin gray line in the toolbar. Uh, so like, like I said, U will toggle through the first set, uh, I will toggle through the second set, O toggles the third, and P toggles the fourth. Depending on how many modes a tool has, uh, you may or may not need uh, the additional uh, you know, I, O, and P keys to toggle through the modes. Now let's go into uh, the different types of tool interactions. Uh, there are three major types. Uh, we have single click, uh, two click, and uh, multi click. Uh, depending on the, the mode of a tool, it, a tool can basically be a single or a two or a three or more click tool. Uh, let's go over some single click tools. When I say single click, I'm specifically uh, referring to a left or primary mouse button click. This is fairly standard. Anytime we say just click, we're referring to a left or a primary click. Normally, uh, single click tools will place their object or do perform their action with a single click. Um, an example of this is the 2D Locus tool uh, in the basic palette. Uh, a single click places a single locus point uh, within the drawing area. Um, if you move and click again, it will place another locus point. Another example of this is the uh, trim tool. Um, a single click will trim an object uh, while using the trim tool. Now let's go into uh, two click tools. These tools require two clicks to create an object or perform an action. Some two click only tools, uh, are, for example, are the uh, line tool, um, also found in the basic palette. The uh, first click for this tool starts the line, uh, the second click ends the line segment. Another example of a, a two click only tool would be the uh, freehand tool also in the basic palette. Um, it's very similar to the line tool. First click starts the line. Uh, then as you move around, uh, you'll see it drawing the line and then the second click ends the line. Now let's go over uh, some multi click tools. Uh, the vast majority of tools are multi click tools. Uh, these tools have uh, uh, will have modes that, that could only use one click, um, but most will have two, th two, three, or more clicks. Uh, a good example of this is the rectangle tool. Uh, the first three modes of this tool uh, are two click modes. Uh, so for example, if we use the uh, first mode, the, uh, the corner to corner mode, the first click uh, sets the starting corner of the rectangle, 
and the uh, second click uh, sets the opposing corner. Uh, the fourth mode of the rectangle tool is a three click mode. Um, this allows you to draw a rectangle at any angle. Another good uh, example of a multi-click tool uh, is the polyline tool. Uh, this tool, uh, is sp specifically the first mode of the tool, uh, the corner vertex mode, uh, the first click starts the segment, um, and then each subsequent click ends that segment and starts another segment. Uh, this will continue until you uh, double click uh, to end the line. If the uh, final segment ends where the first segment began, uh, only a single click is needed. This will create a closed object. Um, also, I'd like to note that if you press the uh, delete or backspace key in the middle of uh, these clicks, it will basically undo the previous click or the previous segment. If you're uh, unsure of how many clicks a particular tool mode requires, uh, just check out the tool tip for the mode in the toolbar. This will give you basic information about how to use that particular mode. Uh, for more detailed information about a particular tool or mode, uh, the Vectorworks Help is a great uh, resource for this type of information, uh, which can be found in the Help menu, as I mentioned earlier. Now, you may have noticed uh, as I was using some of these tools that a, uh, a floating pop-up bar appeared. Uh, this is called the floating data bar. The data displayed in this bar is relevant to the current operation. You can use this bar to enter uh, exact values when uh, using a particular tool. To use the floating data bar, simply press tab, and uh, this will take you into the first axis, um, and this is dependent on, on the type of tool that you're using. Um, at that point, you can start typing uh, numbers. Uh, if you uh, press tab, you can use either the number pad, if you have one on your keyboard, or the number row. Um, another way to quickly enter the, the floating data bar is to simply just use the uh, numbers and the uh, number row to instantly start entering uh, data into the first field. Uh, pressing tab will cycle through each field in the floating data bar. And like again, this is dependent on the tool or the, uh, the, the mode you're currently in. Um, if you enter in a specific uh, value for a field, uh, pressing tab will also set that value and then move you to the next one. Uh, you can also press uh, enter to accept the uh, set value. Now let's go into commands. Commands normally perform an action on an object or objects. Uh, commands are accessed through the various menus in the software. Uh, many commands also have uh, keyboard shortcuts, just like tools. Um, for instance, uh, some examples of commonly used commands um, like undo, redo, copy, paste. These perform similar actions as they do in other applications. Another common command is the clear command, or essentially the, the delete command. Uh, in the edit menu, you'll find the clear command. Uh, this will remove a selected object or object from the file. Uh, you can also press the uh, delete or backspace key to perform this at command as well. Typically, you need to have at least one object or uh, multiple objects selected before using a command. Add surface, for example. Uh, this combines two or more overlapping objects. Um, specifically, it would be two planar objects. Uh, like, for instance, I have here uh, a rectangle and a circle. They're partially overlapping. Um, I have them both selected. I then go to the Modify menu in the menu bar, and then click Add Surface. Uh, you'll see the two objects have now been combined into a single object. The Extrude command is another good example. This command is found in the uh, Model menu. This command will give a, a 2D object a, a Z height or an extrusion height. Um, so if we take this uh, basic rectangle here, for example, uh, select it, go up to the uh, Model menu, go down to Extrude. The Create Extrude dialog will then appear, and we can set an extrusion height. You can see we now have a 3D object. Uh, it has a height in 3D space. Coming up in the next video, we're going to go over basic navigation in the software.